We all in? We all ready? I think so. Yeah, I've just got to load up with 20. Yeah, same. Oh, okay. Oh, man. All right, just waiting on pipe. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. In the meanwhile, uh, you okay with the sprites I gave you guys? Uh, yeah. Which one's mine? Oh, uh, wait, yeah. Whichever one you have control of. Fair enough. Oh, uh, yeah, seems yeah. fine. All right, just making sure. So, no, I'll just start narrating what pipe tries to get in here. All right. So you guys are all from the one small town of Pallet. May never never have heard of this place. <laughs> Yeah. This one small town has grown rather large since uh, the multiple champions that have come through here. That combined with the uh, fame that the now renowned Professor Oak has gained across this Kanto region and others has grown this one small city into a rather large metropolis. You three are were born and raised here. What would you guys be doing at this moment in your normal daily lives? It's about uh, midday. Midday? I'd be out probably, out. probably be in the golden out back of the house. I have no idea. Are you not in yet? No. Yeah, I'm not in yet. Uh, I'm joining right now. All right. Oh, let me... Yeah, I need to check something. Okay, I did get all the movement or the moves on. All right. For some reason I thought I didn't. I'm go ahead and minimize. Yes. Uh, oh, there you go, you're the in. So you guys can walk around town if you wish and see multiple things. At the moment, Aaron, you may be in your garden tending to your multiple of uh, small berry bushes that your family does grow. Yeah. SMX, you are hearing some uh, kerfuffle about a brand new machine they're getting in today. It's a prototype fossil restoration machine that is not used elsewhere. Ooh. They're excited to try to use it. Professor Oak comes to you and goes, you know what, I, I feel you hold this fossil around with you every now and then. Would you like to be the first to try this? Would I? I mean... Yeah, that, that'd be cool. It's like, well, it here, we, it, it will take time. We are still installing it, but hey, why don't you go to the friends and walk along the route out there? By the time you get back, maybe it should be done. All right. I just take my bubble saw. Or I just go around town. All right. 
Uh, you walk around town, you go by the large megalomart that has sprung up near your city. <sighs> have a few heaps of trash that has since piled up on this once uh, rather clean place. Do you stop by any stores or are you going straight to your friends? Uh, let's go. Let's go to my friends. All right. As you wander through the street, you uh, come across Pipe. I don't know what your character's name is. I'm going with Gavin. Gavin, all right. <laughs> yeah. You come across Gavin uh, messing around on the side, glowing his, showing off his uh, small snow run to people. It's not a very common Pokemon around here, so many of the kids like to play with it. Yo, Gav! Gavin! Yeah? The lab is getting a fossil restoration machine. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I, I take out the... Oh, right, you like those fossils, don't you? Yeah. And hmm. I, I take out my little fossil and show it to him. I may finally find, figure out what this thing is. I was about to say, I've been looking at that thing for quite a while. Wait, what's Aaron's uh, character's name again? Aaron. He's just going with Aaron. Okay. But let's, uh, uh, where, where's Aaron? I wouldn't know, but I'm sure he'd like to see it. He might be at his out house growing plants. Let let let's go. Sure. On your way there. Also, um, you would be dropping off the fossil before you leave. First, I would have told you this. Okay. Just make sure you know, out of character. Okay. <laughs> Just because, you know, how are you supposed to restore a fossil if you don't have the fossil? Yeah. Simple. You two walk up to uh, Aaron's small family home and knock on the front door. Uh, I follow her up. I'm around back. No one else is home, I guess. Yeah. Well, your parents are home, but they're like, yeah, they're your friends. They can go around back. Yeah. Do you guys go around back? We go around back. Uh-huh. Um, I stand up and greet them. What's up? Nothing much. Go ahead. The lab's getting a fossil restoration machine. Really cool. Uh, oh, yeah. You know what's really cool? And I, <laughs> I pulled the planner out of my bag. It's like, I got an Apricorn plant. Oh, cool. I can do this. I think. You know. Yeah. Something along those lines. Cool. Yep. You guys know that there is uh, only one real big route outside of the town. Uh, route 1, of course. It has gone a little more uh, cleared of weeds and of some of the impasses that once held it back from being a main traffic commerce. Now it has a nice dirt road through it, but there's also uh, large forested areas off the side if you wish to go there. I don't want to take, uh, take a ride through the route. Yeah, I, I could go for a little walk. Sure. sure. Let me ask you something. Out of character, of course. Um, can... Uh, do our Pokemon just walk behind us and shit? It depends on what you want. You can have your Pokemon out all the time, or you can have them in your balls. Can like I you can just have keep with you or... a planter? You can if you want. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, that's his natural thing. Like, they bury in the grass during the day. They yeah. 
if you want. Yeah, you can have them inside planter. You can actually just bring along a like pot if you want and just carry it like in your backpack. And it doesn't have to be a planter. <laughs> so you don't have to spend a couple thousand on it. We got an extra one. Um, yeah. it, it's like because it doesn't need that special rich soil or whatever it has in it. You know, that's true. Yeah, anyway. I, yeah, so I just I carry around a pot that has a plant in it. It looks like a plant, at least. If you start throwing it at people, you know, I'm taking away from you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you the three uh, are walking off into the main route. When you hear an odd, when you hear like an odd whisper, like "Hey, over here, want to have a little battle, like a little wager?" Um, uh, a wager. What does this person look like? He's a rather older gentleman with uh, brown hair. Looks trustworthy to me. Looks maybe 30-ish. No, uh... No, like... No no giant arm emblazoned on his chest or anything. I was talking about, you know, just like a giant trench coat. Nah. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, kids, want some battle? (laughs) A little wager. We're not really... What kind of wager? Trainers. Come on, you just uh, you got Pokemon. I see him. Come on, come on. Let's yeah. put up a little money. I put a little mine. You know, we'll have a little fun in the battle. Winner takes all. Three on one. Uh, we can do that if you want. Winner takes all of what? The money. Yeah, he wants to bet with us. Yeah. So pretty much, this is how trainer battles sometimes works. Is Oh, if right. there's not a set prize for winning, you guys will be betting oh, or see. anting up saying, we agree to this amount of money if someone wins. Do you guys get that kind of thing? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Sadly, I have no money. Yeah. Well, do you have like a couple hundred or anything? No. I do. All right. Well, it, it's going to be split up between you if you guys win, so... Yeah. Just anti up however much you want. Yeah. If we lose, I'll handle it. Uh, so sure, why not? So you have to say how much you're gonna be betting though. Okay. Uh I'm gonna I'm, I'm... how much is he betting? No, he's just gonna match your bet. Oh, okay. Uh what do you guys think? I'm going to put up a uh... uh, hundred. I have no say in this. I'll put in 200. All right, so he's like, oh, 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 300. I, no. Oh. I could throw you in sure a you potion? don't want to go any higher? You know, my Pokemon are rather weak in these. Oh, this sounds really convincing. Let's put in 200 more. No, I'm just kidding. He sends out a small pat rat. If you guys no want to do any checks on it. Is. We're good. We'll stick with what we got. I'm asking. This is this is part of the tutorial to do checks on Pokemon. Oh, uh, I'll take out my Pokedex and check check it out. All right. You know that Pat Rat is just a uh, usually a small furry creature that often stalks around these grasslands. There's plenty of them around here. It's a normal type, and if you want to know more about it specifically, I think you have a feature for that. I, I do. I have a Pokemaniac. Yeah. yeah, so you need to roll for Pokemaniac. Okay. Do you remember which that is? Yeah. All right. That's well good enough roll. You know that this pat rat seems to be level three. And is rather weak compared to your Pokemon at the moment. 
to his or all of ours? Well, the Pat Rats level three, your Pokemon level five. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, hmm. When really he has like a Ryoku in his. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I put in fifty more. Fifteen. Fifty. So fifty. Fifty. All right. So you guys are three hundred and fifty. Mm-hmm. I'll also go 50. 400. A 400 flat. Yeah. It's like, ah, that's much better. Much better. So, should we get started? Yes. And he sends out his other two. After having someone else take the money and... What are you guys' actions? Do we um, initiative or well right now it's it, the battle hasn't started yet but like you can do some things before battle such as if you want to do your pokemaniac you can do it right now but only on one pokemon before the battle starts I'll check out Hopip All right Roll it, uh, 11. That's good enough, because it's DC 10. Uh, you know the Hopip is level 4. And is a grass-flying type. And is a rat of rash nature. Well... Oh. This might be interesting. All right, so now you guys roll your initiatives and your Poké initiatives. Do you just roll like a d20 for that? Uh, on your sheet, it should say initiative. Um, there's an add initiative. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Roll you select page. your token first, though. Make sure you select your character. What's the non-speed modifier? Which one's the... Uh... Oh, that's in case there's a bonus modifier they have. You don't have one. Okay. Which... Where's the uh, initiative button? Uh, it's under basic info. And it's, like, right below your damage bonus penalty thing. It's it's pretty much just your speed that it rolls for. It pretty much just goes your speed. Ah. There's no real initiative. It's pretty much just your speed. So it's pretty much just like the character and you do it and it's your speed. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, that That is not a Pidgey. That is in Polish, but sure. Oh, did it say Pidgey on there? Oh, well. Yeah. Okay, so... All right, I need to add his stuff. Oh, there it is. That's why it didn't work. Oh, whoops, I meant to select. There. All right, so what happened between me and us and Max? Because all the shambles will have seven speed. Uh, it's a speed tie. So let me go check what the speed ties do. <laughs> Does it go back to trainer speed at that point, or just roll to twenty? Oh, okay. 
Ties D20 wins. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. I should probably put on some combat music for you guys. Mm hmm. Uh, SMX, you need to roll a D20. Is that too loud? No, it's fine. Alright, I had to make sure. <laughs> we can each adjust the own biases as well, so. Yep. Well, I don't want to dress you just saying too small because I do have sound effects, which I want you to hear as well. Hmm. Everyone on there? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Um, mm -hmm. oh, are you still ordering things around? Yeah. So, for Pokemon battles, in League-sanctioned-esque battles where you are fighting trainer one-on-one, -on -one, you'll be using League rules for the most part. And in this circumstance, the person who's slowest puts his commands out first. And the person who's fastest puts their commands out last. So you can respond. And afterwards, then you go, pretty much. No, so it's like command, 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 and everything happens all at once? Yes, but only for league battles. And okay. we're doing a pseudo-league battle at the moment. Which would probably be the easiest for Yeah. In random battles, or just battles with random trainers, usually... Not in this case, just for testing. It would be no no rules like that. It would be on your turn, you just go. And on your Pokemon's turn, they just do what you tell them to at that moment. Ah. No. There's a right. problem. What? I have no combat moves. Well, that's okay. Yeah. You don't have to do combat in because you're going for a. You don't have to do combat with Pokemon or a combat to Pokemon sort of thing. And in league no, no, battles, no, no. you Odyssey can't. Itself has no attacks. It should have absorb. Absorb doesn't deal damage. Yeah, it does. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. It literally absorbs HP. Nah, no, fair enough. I thought it was like an effect. Like, yeah, that's right. How about? Yeah. I got confused for a second. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, you have some moves. Alright, this guy is going to tell his Pokemon to attack. He's going to tell Benelby to use agility. For a hop it to, uh, do whatever it wants because it's useless anyways. <laughs> Those are the exact words. And he'll tell Pat Rat to just leer at you. Pat who? Whichever one it chooses. I, um. I get to roll their intelligence as well. Because this guy isn't exactly a good trainer, so... He's just giving very vague commands. And you'll see what happens when you give very vague commands. But it's Aaron's turn to order. Um. I have no idea what. Um. I guess I will just have a tell others to use absorb on what the hell are these Pokemon's names? 
You can see them in the turn order. Uh, yeah, but I can't see their name in all of them, though. Wait, you can't see their name? You should be able to. Let me check. In the turn order? You should be able to see their names. Mm, I can only see mine and Odish's. Hmm. I must have added them wrong. Oh, well. But yes, the one on the right is Pat Rat. Uh -huh. The one on the left is Hoppet. The one in the center is Bundle Bean. Or you can just call them whatever you want, really. <laughs> just say the one on the right, the one on the left, one in the middle. Uh, fair enough. Um, yeah, I'll just have them use a Zorb on the, the bunny looking thing. Alright. SMX, what is your orders? Um, how far can my Bulbasaur move? Whatever its overland speed is. Okay. Well, I'll be tell uh, uh, the Bulbasaur to go up to the Bumblebee and attack me. Alright. Uh, each overland is one square, so... Yeah, I completely forgot about range. That's okay. Yeah, the absorb will not hit. That just flange. Well, the thing is, your Pokemon will yeah. know to move forward. But yeah, it, fair enough. Yeah. But it might not move in the way you want it to. Pipe? Yes. What is your orders? I'm gonna tell Snow Run to use Powder Snow. On? Doesn't it hit all of them? Well, if you tell just to use Powder Snow... Well, then Powder Snow on all the targets. Well, well you can't. Can you know? Powder Snow is a line. It is? Yes. Powder Snow, and if you look under range, it's line four. Yeah. Huh. I guess I should look more at the uh, rules instead of, like, black and white rules. Yeah. They're, they're totally different. Yeah. Um, okay. Line four. So that means it just, like, can only yeah. hit, like, four squares in front of it? Like that. Sorry. Uh, okay, there we go. Like that. Um, can you also do it diagonally? Yeah, anywhere in a line. Okay, I was just okay. making sure. I know yeah. some systems don't like diagonal attacks. Mm -hmm. Um, can uh, Snow Run move in the same turn that it attacks, or do I have to move then wait? Yeah, you have multiple actions. You have a standing action, a movement action, and a swift action. So during your swift or uh, your movement action, which is called a shift action. You can move, or you as a, or the Pokemon can return to its ball, or you as a trainer can return it. And during standard actions, that's when all the moves happen. Okay, uh, how far can a Pokemon move? Whatever its overland speed is. Oh, great. Um, now I'll have Snow to move right here. Alright. So I'll move forward and then attack Bundleby with. Alright, I'll tell Snow Run to move forward and then attack Bundleby with uh, Powder Snow. Alright. And since Snow Run has amazing speed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so trainer orders go top to the bottom and Pokemon actions go top third. The Once you give out your orders in a league battle, since you as trainers cannot interfere, you do not, do not yeah. battle in the turn order until. Yeah, uh, I was saying like orders are given bottom to top, and then they're acted out top to bottom. Yes, that is correct. All right. All right. So your snow runt moves forward and uses powder snow. So roll that. Okay.
Um, did you click the thing? Um, is there a button for that? In moves, yeah. Um, in moves. Your okay. powder snow is a special move, so you would click on the blue special die. Uh, the one with like the two circles? Yeah. Yes. All right. Oh, a nine. Let's see if that hits Bunnelby. Oh, cool. I like this. I love gives out this little list. <laughs> That's <laughs> barely. Cool. It's barely it's cool. hit. We're so used to the, the coupled together follow up question system. Pretty much. But I yeah. like this. It's got like this entire list of stuff I wrote down. Yes. Ooh, you barely do hit. And you deal 28 damage. Oh, it's not bad. Curve. Bunnelby takes a very heavy hit. All right, all right. Then go snow run. It's not Bunnelby's turn. Bunnelby does not like his trainer much and doesn't care about him, so he's going to actually ignore him and use tackle. He runs up and tackles you. So, for tackle, you see how it says ple- three plus your evasion? Mm-hmm. It's a physical move, so your physical evade plus your speed evade, if you have it, usually. I need to double check to make sure I'm actually doing this right, but I'm thinking that's how it works. Oh, uh, say that again, not cut out for me, or I cut out. All right, so, for example, I'm using this ability and it, when he used his you roll an accuracy roll and then you have to hit my evade yeah that's what I'm saying it's so uh, what is his evade no I have no clue Three that's why I'm asking that's oh, why right. I'm asking pipe oh uh, okay I evade see. is in skills yeah uh, basic info, evasion. Yeah, basic info. Evasion bonus, or is there just straight up to evade? Uh, no, evasion bonus. Yeah, oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay, so physical cool. evade, uh, special aid, speed evade. Which one do I use? Well, you're taking a physical attack. Uh huh. Okay, so just yeah. one. So that definitely hits. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then you take that damage, but the way Pokemon works, you also have to take into account your uh, defenses. All right. So you just subtract it from the number pretty much. Let me check. Yeah, as far as I can tell, you just subtract it, and I need to make double sure, but that's, that's as far as I know. Have you guys read anything differently? Because uh, this is new for me, too, because I, that's all I can tell is you just straight minus it. That makes sense to me, that uh, you just subtract your uh, defense, and then that's how much it hits you for. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. All right. All right, so 10 hit points. Uh... Two. What? Oh, no, no, never mind. I was looking at mine. <laughs> That'd just be regular defense, right? You'd yeah. be subtracting from? Yeah, since it was a physical move. If it was a special yeah. move, you'd be subtracting from special defense. Yeah. So I would... Yeah, so I would... I would yeah, I would subtract 10 from that. Okay, I'm doing this in my head as he's doing it. Even though I'm sure I'll 
have to do some of this. I'm looking up speed evade real quick because I actually can't find it. Yeah, I wasn't sure what speed evade was either. Yeah, there's, there's a special evade, there's a physical evade. Uh, oh, there is a special evade. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. I did it wrong. Speed evade, you can choose to apply to either of them. Oh. It's you dodging the attack. Oh. Okay, well, it wouldn't work anyway, because it would just make it six compared to 12. Yeah, yeah I, that's why it was like, why, why is this the here? All right. With that, it's Bundlebee's turn is over. And it's now Pat Rat's turn. Pat Rat is going to ignore his trainer, move up, and tackle. He rolled an eight. Is your evasion over that? Nope. Still six. It's six? Oh, right. no, it's a... Uh... Well, it's three, but, you know... Yeah, it's in total, six. Animation. So you take 27 damage, minus by all your defenses. <laughs> Which leaves Snowrunt at uh, zero health points. All right, so your Pokemon faints. Yep. And you learn, maybe you shouldn't send up the squishy Snowrunt to the front line. Probably not. Whereas I'm pretty sure Oddish can take a pretty decent hit. Yeah. Hop it flies in and uses splash. No, please have mercy. I forgot that hop it on splash. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. That's just dumb. It jumps up into the air. Stop, please, God. It it jumps up like Six meters, but it's Oddish's turn. What is Oddish gonna do? Oddish. I told it to absorb the funny song. You told it to absorb. So it's going to move forward. And it, it likes you, and it just saw its snow rock got hurt. So he's going to absorb the one that knocked it out. Fair enough. Because he's a compassionate one. So you just need a roll. I tried. Did Did I you clicked. use the special? Yes. Oh, you don't have a list that's just special, do you? No, I do. That's odd. Uh, yeah, if I... It worked for me. Weird. Yeah. Let me let me try a like sweet scent real quick, see if that works. Nope. Do you have two pages open at the same time? Oh. Maybe? Yeah. I, uh, maybe I don't I, know I like Oddish and then do it. No. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's up with your thing, because I have multiple up and it's working perfectly on my end, so I don't know what to tell you. But I can just take that number if you want. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, it absorbs for 23. <laughs> Absorb. There's probably some reason why it did that. It's Bulbasaur's turret. And he's gonna do exactly what you told him to. Run right into here and tackle. Ooh, 20 damage. So where are you pushing him? Uh let's see. SMX? Here. 
two meters. Yeah. And he takes. I, I, I'm gonna try reloading uh, roll twenty real quick. I'll still be able to hear y'all. So. All right, Bun will be falls unconscious. Coof. And is out of the fight. It's time to give your turns orders once again. Uh, and with that, the guy in the back goes, No! You're supposed to kill them! Uh, well, he, he actually says you're supposed to knock them out. Let's play with them. Come on! Do what I say! I hate his rather mad. And now it's a good time to introduce you to loyalty your Pokemon have loyalty and if you mistreat them or if they're newly caught or don't trust you in some way they may misbehave uh, these people have a loyalty of about two <laughs> which they know they're trained. They like them well enough, but eh, they might not listen to them every now and then. One would be they just dislike their trainer in general, and you have to actually make skill checks to give them commands in general. Zero is zero is in, in an even harder skill check. As you get higher, actually, your Pokemon become even more more loyal to the point where without even giving them orders they will take bullets for you or others um, before we move on I'm going to see if reloading work alright Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to talk about injuries now for Snow Runt. How much mm -hmm. damage? Did you get one shot or two shot? I think you did two shot, right? Yeah. Alright, so you took damage from. If you take damage from any source that does equal to 50% or more of your maximum hit points, which I think Bunnelby did, you gain a massive injury, which is one injury. And you have an injury from taking 50% of your hit points away, as well as dropping to 0%. So you now have three injuries. Okay. And for every injury, your hit points reduced by one tenth, which is automatically calculated. Do you see it in there? Did you find it? Yeah, I see, I, I see injuries. All right, so you could give yourself three injuries. Mm hmm And you see how your current max HP went down? Yeah. Yeah, that's your new current max HP until you rest. All right. And once you rest, you can uh, rest for like eight hours, and you will start. You'll heal your like five injuries or something. Or if you go to Poké Center, you will store all your injuries. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, but now we are going to go, instead of you giving orders, your Pokémon will just move in actions as you wish now. As if it were a random battle or a battle with non-league rules. Or you all move at the same time. Oh, that's real weird. What's that? What you rolled, Aaron. Yeah. Whoa. Let me check for missions. You're hitting the blue one, right? Yeah. Try hitting the red one. Mm. 
Because um, they both do exactly the same thing, it's just on which stat it bases off of. Yeah, it, yeah, it doesn't do anything. Hmm. Oh, because you're on target. Yeah, either way. Either one. Either one tries it, so you have to try doing yeah. it now? No, same thing. Uh, try clicking on the roll page and doing it from there. The roll page? Yeah, there's a tab that says roll page. Okay. See if you can just do it from there. Nope. Alright, I'm going to remove your permissions and then try adding them back. Yeah, I may need to remake the sheet or something like that. Maybe, it's real odd. Yeah. Alright, now try. Nope. Alright, I have no idea what's going on, but... You can roll it manually if you wish. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, now that we're going into all-out mode, or similar to wild battles, and the Pokemon just go when on their turn, and you as a player can go on your turn if you wish to do your actions, should you have any. Oh, fair enough. Or, like, for swapping or even just attacking if you want. And you, your Pokemon will just go on their actions, doing what you wish them to do, as long as you're, you know, within range. So Pat Rat will be attacking the Bulbasaur. And he fails and misses. Good job, Bulbasaur. Well, actually, it's uh, Pat Rat's. Pat Rat <laughs> did a good job at missing. <laughs> and ones, no matter even if you hit their AC, is always a failure. So, Pipe, do you wish to do anything? And can I return Snow Runt back to its Pokeball? Hmm. Let's return to its Pokeball. Alright. Alright, SMX, do you wish to do anything? What can I do? If you have any uh, abilities or moves, you can use them now. If you have any edges or anything that apply during combat where you can take an action to do them, you can do them now. Let me check real quick. You should also check Aaron if you have any of those. Uh, where does that? Right? Yes, if they apply during combat, or you can do them within a standard action, yes. As long as they do not take eight hours or whatever. <laughs> um, I think I'll just uh, stay where I am right now. Alright. This Hoppip will uh, do something very amazing. And you splash again? Please. <laughs> it's too much. Splashes around. The humanity. Think of the children. <laughs> it floats around. Not really doing anything. Otis just turn. What do Otis do? Now you directly control them, move them around, and do what you wish. Oh. Makes sense. He said it's over, so he can move four blocks. Remember, if Hold you. Hold on move... one second. I'll be right back. Sim... Alright, similar to D&D, &D, moving through a threatened square provokes an opportunity attack. So Hoppips floating around wouldn't provoke an opportunity attack because he's like 40 feet in the air, but if he wasn't, he would. Also, um, here, I'm going to 
Uh, so Max, can you see an oddish in there now in your uh, journal tab? Let me check. I did to use to see if you can roll. Yeah, I see it now. All right, see if you can roll absorb a sweet scent. Hmm, yeah, it's all sorts of broken for you guys, but for me it works perfectly. That's really odd. Uh... No idea why it does that. Hmm. All right, I'm going to remove it from your thing. All right, so I'd probably just have to remake Otris's sheet, probably, I guess. Wait, maybe I can do that. Try rolling your Oddish again. Yeah, I'm gonna absorb the beaver. Alright. Hey, it works. Yeah, I think I fixed it. I, I had two sheets named Oddish because I had wild Oddishes. Oh, okay. And it was using trying to do both sheets since they have the same name. Whoops, that's why I named the other ones actually their level. <laughs> Alright, so you do 19. You haven't taken any damage yet, so you don't heal anything. Correct. And it's Bulbasaur's turn. That does hit. I mean... I guess that hit. That does not hit. That does not hit. Yeah. Plus, it is pretty low. Yeah, you rolled before uh, two. He has a speed of 8 of 3, so... You actually don't hit. Okay. Okay, so Bulbasaur... We'll tackle the pat rat. All right. Go at how it's done. You hit, dealing 17 damage. Uh. It's still barely alive. Aaron, what do you wish to do on your turn? Just stay here at the moment. There really ain't nothing useful I can do. The other guy's gonna return his banana pee and yell after his pop up to come down because he's flying way high up in the sky. Come down here! You're supposed to be bad like not floating around. And Pat Rat's turn. Pat Rat doesn't really want to battle anymore. Pat Rat's gonna go over here. With his trainer. And the trainer's gonna yell, like, no, you're supposed to be battling. What are you doing? Pipe, your turn. If you want to do anything. I got nothing I need to do. Alright, SMX. Anything you want? Can I talk to the trainer? You can if you want. I, uh, say, um... Do you want to just call this a draw? Just keep what we emptied up. It's like, no, it's not a draw. I'm winning. Can't you see? Right. And I just stay there. Uh, would you like to roll a Pokemon education check? Yeah. All right, you know nothing. 
Uh, mm-hmm. Now you you rolled at least a ten, even though you rolled two ones. <laughs> That's why I have uh, four dice in it, damn it. Yeah, you know that all these Pokemon probably were literally just caught around here, and he was trying to uh, just get some quick cash, probably by just catching his Pokemon and battling with them. Thinking that, oh, I got a higher level Pokemon. It must be good. Uh, Without realizing you have to actually train them. Hopip is going to actually fly away. <laughs> cool. Because Hopip don't care. And little did we know, Hopip wasn't actually captured. He just showed up. He actually was. He didn't have the Pokeball for him. <laughs> <laughs> it just flies away into space. Goodbye, Hop-Hip. Oh, this is your turn. You can finish off the battle and... Um... Sure. I'll, I'll have Oddish move up here, and then... try to absorb again. You absorb him and he falls unconscious. He's like, no! No, my Pokémon! He suddenly got tall. <laughs> yeah, very tall. Oh. His anguish. It's like, no, but, uh. It's like, a uh, fine. Thought having higher level Pokemon would help me. You would know now that the Benopi was actually level 10. But since it disobeyed his orders, it didn't really survive that well. Oh. Hmm. It's like, uh, well, fine. And you guys gain. 400 gold. Uh, how's that right. split the point of stars? <laughs> well, you can split it any way you wish. Mm-hmm. That'd be 133 and some change if divided even. Yeah, well, I say give Pike the extra, I guess, what, the extra one? Okay. So, Pike would get, what, 134? Mm-hmm. And the rest of us take 133? You guys keep track of that yourself, I'm not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking to them, make sure the way we were doing it. Yeah, but I'm making sure you actually keep me track on your sheets. Yeah. So with that, the battle is over. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm going to go bring these back to the Pokemon Center. He turns around and goes back to Pokemon Center. Well, I said the potted plant down on the cold Oddish over. Or the, just the pot, the ceramic pot full of them. Oddish just hops over because he's rather happy that he just won. <laughs> and with this, all your Pokemon level up. Well, each of them gained 15 experience. Uh, All right. So, 55. Yeah, so you'd be at 55, which is level 6. Yeah, what's the next ceiling for? 70. Or 60. To reach level 7. It goes up by 10 each time until you reach level 12. Oh. Then it's a big jump. Alright, I guess it's time to learn how leveling works. Alright, leveling is rather simple. You get plus one stat point. Put it wherever you want, as long as it adheres to the base relation rule. Wait, what was that? You gain one stat point for your Pokemon. You can put it wherever you wish. Oh, uh, obviously speed is off. For whatever reason, it's so much showing you as a current seven when it's actually five. Oh, then put down the uh, five. Yeah. 
put it up. Oh. Yeah, it, it can get a little buggy between the things. Uh, like, uh, uh, all your currents for your defense, special attack, and speed defense, special defense are all 10, which they can't be. Oh, uh, I took that one time. I took something that let me do that. You took attack conflict, which makes you ignore one stat. Oh. Uh, which you, you uh, can ignore you either know. special attack or your physical attack, yeah. Do we put in an allocator or base stat? We have three tens, and they're all different base relations. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to drop one in special attack, I guess. Yeah, th that'll fix all your base relations, but... Do you put that into allocated or base? You put in allocated, because okay. you are now allocating stat points at every level. You gain one stat point to allocate. Fair enough. You have to keep base stat relations, so you can't go above the other stats, but also you don't want three stats that are different to be the same, because then you're not keeping the exact relation. It's stupid, but having two similar is okay, three is not. Okay. You always want one to be highest. So I'm going to ignore defense, I guess. This seems fine with that one thing. Well, no, your your edge or feature build that you have, it lets you ignore attack. It's, which is why you you can boost your speed up to six or something. Oh, okay. It makes you a special attacker, I meaning you will ignore attack all the way through. Oh, okay. Then all I'll right. put one in the special attack, so... All right, everyone else have their stuff good? Mm-hmm. You allocated your one stat point, so you should now have 16 points. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, we'll Along with leveling up, time. you want to check into your Pokédex to see if your Pokémon learns a move. Nope. And this battle, Pat Rat leveled up to level 6. This is in theory. He would learn Bite. So I don't... Check if any of your Pokemon may learn a new move. I don't catch anything until another nine. Damn. Okay. No new moves yet. Yep. No new moves for Snorunt. Then. <laughs> this is each time you level up, you just once that. No new yeah. moves? Alright. And you guys are not level 20 yet, so you don't need to learn about, worry about the final point. And after that, you're done. Since your Pokemon has not hit the level in which it evolves, you also have not hit a multiple of 5. I mean, you don't get another 2 yeah. point. Thank you are. That's your easy, quick level up. Wow. Of course, it's so hard. No. Oh, come on. Let's get Snow Run back in shape. Uh huh. No. To reach level 100, you need a total of 20,555. Good lord. Alright, you can turn your Pokemon there, and it takes about an hour and a half, but they get all your Pokemon back up to full running value and remove all its injuries. So you can go to your Pokemon and remove its injuries now. On Snowrunt. Yeah. And it sets hit points back to full. Yep. All right, good. Is it? It says that your hit points are zero. What? Oh, never mind. I fixed it. Yeah, it, <laughs> yeah. It, it said your hit points were zero, and I was like, um. Well, while you guys are at the Pokemon Center, oh, comes in. He goes, oh, oh, SMX. Oh, oh, your friends too. 
Uh, I forgot SMX, what's your name? Owen. Owen. I was like, oh, Owen, 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 your friends are here too. Good, good. I need you to deliver this uh, package down to uh, the next town over. I actually forgot what that town is out of character. Uh, Tudor City? Vermilion City. No. Is it Vermilion? There's that a Vermilion, right? Viridian City. All right. Yeah, he says, I need to go deliver this to the next town over. It's just a small way through the route. It, it should be no problem, but uh, I just need to go deliver that. Uh, you know what? You also should be uh, through by the time you get back, actually, if you want to head out. Yeah, sounds so, fine to me. You got it, Oak. No, later. It's like, oh, good, good, good. No, it's like, you thank you so very about. much for helping us out. And for dragging your friends along, too. They look like they were a little bored. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It's always good to help, you know, help our friend out here. So, yeah, that is pretty much all I had for this little test session so you can learn about it. Would you guys like to fight a random Pokemon and see if you can catch it? Or would you like to save that for the actual session? Uh, we need to learn how catching works anyway. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Yeah, fair. All right. All right. As you go along through the route, you see uh, it is populated by multitudes of Pokemon. Uh, there are Oddishes spattered throughout. There are Hoppips flying through the air. There's a... Uh, every now and then you see, may see a Pat Rat or a Bunnibal hopping through the grass. Do you wish to try to search for Pokemon or try to attract a type Pokemon with your sweet scent? What do you wish to do? I, I, I'd actually, I guess I wouldn't mind having a hop up, trying to find one specifically. Is your Oddish no sweet scent? Uh, yes. Oh, that's good. And, um, uh, He's also got the ability to allure. That's what gives you allure on your sweet time. You both yeah. have a perfect drive. I can act as bait once a day. I really can. Well, what are you waiting for? Yeah. So I tap on the side of the dam. <laughs> on the side of the, uh, the, the, the pot. And then Otto mm-hmm. sticks his little head up. And just and I, kind of lets out a sweet aroma that yeah, is in, rather I enticing. Set him, set him down and go hide a little, you know, not far away, but kind of out of the way. All right. <laughs> and I'm not okay. Wait, do I even have cookie balls? Do you even have what? I, I didn't even know if I had cookie balls or not. I do. Like, you might need those if you don't. Hold still while I carve one. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just waiting. Alright. Roll a 1d20. All of us? Seven. No, just one for the bait. 17. All right, so a Pokemon does actually start floating down to come take this bait. Did you move your guys into hiding positions? I did. Except for Oddish. It's just a public plant that smells really good right now. Yeah. All right. And... Down floats a hop up. Mm-hmm. This one seems rather familiar, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you wish to do? Hey, buddy. Um, does it. <laughs> does it look skittish? Well, it's currently attempting to lick your Oddish. 
Can I can I check to see if it's already been captured? You can, but it's it hasn't. I'll tell you that now. All it's right. considered a wild Pokemon. All right, just wanted to make sure. Since the guy never successfully captured it, he just kind of moved it because it's a hoppip and it's like doesn't care; it just floats around. Mm-hmm. Um, can I just slowly walk up to it? You can if you wish. Yeah, that I'm going to. I'm going to walk up. Just staying, you know, a reasonable distance away and try not to scare it. Just like, I like wave at it. It does not seem to care about you. You see me, I, I ask it, will you be my Pokemon? It totally ignores you. I don't think that's how it works, Aaron. Yeah, you might need to use a Pokeball. You're not Ash. You do not just yeah. get Pokemon by befriending them. That's how we got Ash. Yeah. Oddly but that's, enough. it's like yeah. special circumstances you can get Pokemon, but wild Pokemon, you don't do that. I take out a Pokeball and just try to reach over and touch it. <laughs> All right, you have to give me a 1d20. <laughs> Oh. You oh. missed critically. <laughs> I imagine he like trips and just kind of like crushes the ball under his hand. Yeah, you just like kind of fall in f- on your face and the Pokeball. And the Hop Hip uh, is a little freaked out, so it begins to fly away. <laughs> wow. That the was the worst attempt at a capture ever of all time. I stand up and attempt to throw the ball at it. <laughs> Alright, you're going to throw it at it while it's at full HP? Alright. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, it's a 1d20, roll it again. 11. So that is a hit. So once you hit, what kind of Pokeball are you using? Just a regular. All right, so you don't get any bonuses? No. All right, so you need to roll a 1d100. I know that guy pretty damn well. 34. All right, let me check. You should be able to capture with a 34. But I need to double check because there is some special rules, and I don't have the sheet open. Never mind, I do. It is in the wrong tab. I have a calculator, so that's what I'm using. Oh, fair enough. You have to roll a lower than a 72. And it is captured! Hey! Alright. So walk over, pick up the bomb, put it in my pocket. Because that last thing I want to do is just leave it laying there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> someone else could go pick it up. We don't have a hop it. Yay! Yeah. Are any of the other of you going to be searching for Pokemon or? Um. What kind of Pokemon are around here? Around here, there is a large variety of Pokemon. If you wish to roll Pokemon education, you might be able to find out some sure. certain ones if you want to look for them. And I'm going to if... go search for some Pokemon. If you roll too badly, I can let you make you re-roll with my Pokemon education one. Yeah? Wait, shit, maybe not. I don't think I'm novice on it. You know around here, there's been a, an increase in a large variety of Pokemon recently. There's plenty of uh, different types of small bug-type Pokemon that have moved in recently, as well as many grass type set and a few normal types. Everything from uh some worm poles and beetles 
There's even some skitrits over in the water areas and some oh. pine cones in some of the trees. Oh. So I go look in the trees. Um when we catch a Pokemon, do you basically just give us a random sheet? Like a randomized sheet for them at that level or Oh, I was gonna do this all at once, but once okay. you catch a Pokemon, I give you their stats and their sheet pretty much. Okay. And from there you will edit it how you see fit uh when it comes to edges and stuff. But all of its abilities and everything it has when it comes to you or is what it has. Like its nature and stuff is decided by me as well as its stats. Okay. But it wins to start to level up, then it's decided by you. I go and uh, knock on a tree, see if any bugs fall out. I'm going to follow him. All right. I need you to roll me an athletics check or no, a power check, which would be just. Just uh... D20 plus your power. I think. No, oh, no, no. I, I would just need you to roll actually uh, athletics. Athletics actually constitutes your strength check in this game. You are unable to really shake the tree much. It's pretty sturdy. At most, you give it a nice hug. I am literally a tree hugger. Oh. Um. I could try. Yeah, I will. Also, go over there and try. Um, what which uh, skill is it again? Athletics. Okay. You don't get much further. You get slightly further at shaking this rather large tree, but. It's a rather large tree, and it's not really shaking that well. Can I do a three-way assist? You could attempt to shake one tree. I mean, three people shaking one tree, I'll do all right. All right. Yeah. All right, so who, who's got the highest athletics? Uh, my rank is two in athletics, so... Yeah. What about you guys? Uh, one. One. Wow. Right. So we're we're assisting the uh, pipe. I rolled a four. I rolled a five. You gonna roll us some X or you not helping? Well, you don't even roll. You just say you're helping who you're helping, and you add half oh, okay. your bonus or half your uh, rank. So he gets a plus one bonus. It's a plus one bonus to six. Yep, so uh, nothing happens. Instead of shaking the tree, you guys miss and slip off and start shaking pipe, whatever <laughs> his character name is. Oh, um, I'll learn him eventually. <laughs> So instead of shaking the tree, you begin shaking him without realizing, putting all your effort into it until, you know. Just get dizzy and fall over. Okay, new plan. Let's just search in the grass. Good idea. Perfect idea. I'm just gonna go sit down on a rock. (laughs) I'll just watch uh, Owen, because... This rock. Type. While searching through the grass, give me a roll. See if you can actually find anything. Say so it's a 1d100, just a luck roll. All right. Hmm. 
Not that lucky. Most of the bug Pokemon and many of the other Pokemon just get away from you and hide, run away as you come tromping into the bushes. You don't seem to be able to find anything. That was a good time to say. If you want to try to sneak up on Pokemon, you'd be using your stealth check. Most Pokemon do not wish to encounter with you unless they are normally aggressive. There are a few Pokemon such as like Caterpie and the sort that will immediately run away, but some like Metapod and stuff cannot move. Much. Mm-hmm. I am going to uh, use my stealth check. I'm going to keep myself low and uh, move quietly through the grass. All right. Roll your stealth check. Well, you rolled a one and a four, so you're not too sneaky. You crunch on some leaves and you break up some stuff, but eventually you come across a caterpie. Which is looking rather scared trying to get away from you, but it's it's kind of slow because it just noticed you. I send out uh, Bulbasaur. And? Uh, well, let's see. I send out Bulbasaur to try to intercept it. Alright, it, it can just do that. It's like, are you going to attack it, or are you going to... Uh... I'll have Bulbasaur use Tackle. Alright, roll that Tackle. Ooh. Your Bulbasaur tackles the Caterpie, which kind of swooshes it a bit as it falls unconscious. Uh. Oh, so Aaron, your hop-up should be in your sheet. Uh. Okay, yeah, it is. Sadly, you cannot uh, actually capture Pokemon that are unconscious. Question. Can I give that Pokemon a potion and then he capture it? Uh, no, it's it's unconscious at the moment. It would need oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Um, make a revive. And I'm going to rule that you can't revive Pokemon, hit them, throw a ball, and then revive them again. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to have you guys reviving Pokemon just so you can capture them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to give up on looking for a Pokemon for now. Yeah, actually trying to find Pokemon themselves, you can see them all over, but trying to sneak up on one or get them as a trainer is rather difficult. Pipe, you want to go? Pipe, does your snow run wish to try to sneak up on the Pokemon? Because your Pokemon themselves can sneak up. Hmm. You know what? Why not? All right. It's time to get sneaky. Skills? Is that all I do? Do I just have to roll stuff? Or, uh, do I just yeah, stuff? for your snow run, your snow run slowly sneaks around the way trying to find a little Pokemon. All right. When suddenly a spider jumps out at it. It's 
Oh, shit, where are stories? Been a wreck. Oh, no. Good. I want that. Where is uh, You can roll. Okay. And because uh, it is now combat. Uh, what do I roll to look for snow run? Because I can't see him. Oh, you saw where he went. Oh, well, I just don't see him on the map. Oh, it should be to the right of where you guys are on the map. I don't see anything there. It's just black. Uh, there's a section that he revealed. Yeah, there's a small section off to the side that I revealed that. Oh, weird. It didn't reveal anything for me. Uh, are you... Uh... Here, I'll try refreshing. Maybe that'll yeah. work. Yeah. It might be just connection issues, roll 20. I don't think so, but it could be. Who uh, knows? So I need to plug in all this information on the attacks and shit, don't I? Not really. Nope. That's right, they don't really do anything. Yeah, but <laughs> right now Hoppin doesn't really have much. <laughs> yeah, he's acrobatic. So that he's got yeah. that going for him. That's what? why all he did during that <laughs> battle was fly around. Yeah. Plus, uh, what is its last evolution? After uh, Skip Room. Yeah. It's like a puffy uh, looking monster. Jump Luff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jump Luff is awesome. Uh, I still can't uh, see that section. That is really odd. It's on the... It's, like to the right. Have you zoomed out? I I I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> How far zoomed in were you? I was pretty zoomed in. Oh, like not that zoomed in, but like I could see the borders on each uh, of the black parts, and so I just assumed that was all that was revealed. So I I didn't uh-huh. see. Wow. This is actually a really big map. I'm going to be reusing it, but I'm going to put you guys in different spots. So, Okay. Well, all right. There's snow room. Uh, uh, oh, excuse me. Spin around. Back. It's at 12. What's your snow run, Dad? Just roll that real quick. Isn't there a button for speed? Yeah, it's yeah, the initiative one, the, right? Yeah, yeah it's add initiative. That. You just select your token and click the add initiative thing. It's yeah, it's pretty much like me token. adding your token and manually putting the speed in, but it just does it automatically. Oh, okay. okay. So pretty much you click on your token and then you press that button. Your still runt is going first. Mm-hmm. But it it's got surprised. <laughs> So, Spinarak actually gets the yeah, first attack is... because it was actually stealthier and it sees a small little tasty creature coming in. And they will shoot a twin needle at your snow run. Yep, that hits. Second one does not hit. Oh. So, it's 28 damage, minus your physical defense. Um, okay, let's see, 28. Okay. All right, uh, that's your turn. Okay. Um... On the road, on the road. I'm going to have um, Snow Red first use Powder Snow. All right. I'm pull back a bit. Moves. That hits. 
Yeah. Just 21 damage. Um, and so it still has a social and a movement, right? Hmm? A social? And a movement? Is that how it works, or can you only do... Oh, well, social like, doesn't exist. Oh. Uh, what, what were the three kinds again? There was movement, attack, and... It, there's a standard, a shift, and a swift. Okay. So standard action is, move, is your you do your moves or you do your attacks and stuff. Shift is actually movement or swapping. A swift is a uh, special thing. Some things take a swift action to do. Yeah, usually they're features or something. Okay. There's also three when it's extended and four, yep. but that's... That's special. Is yeah. your trainer running over there? Sure. Uh, how far can I move? Well, it depends on if you were watching him when you came over there. I would say you'd be able to move however your overland speed it. Okay. Alright, it's just five. So just right. like Five squares. Five. Alright, you might be able to see, see the spinner at and the range to which you can throw your Pokeball. Mm -hmm. Is considered four plus your athletics rank. So what's your athletics rank? Um it is two. All right, so you can throw the ball six squares. I mean, you can hit the spinner right now if you roll a 1d20 and hit it. Absolutely. Is on the actual sheet or just straight up? Straight up, and you rolled a four. You did not hit it. Shoot. So just get rid of a ball. Wait, did you add? Oh, wait. I forgot. It's an attack roll, so you add your attack stat oh. to that roll. Um, I don't know what your attack stat is. It's five. All right. If your tech says five, then yeah, it's a four plus five. So you. Now you have to roll 1d100. Okay. One. Three. Your Pokeball captures it. It shakes. All right. Then it shakes. And then it dings. All right. Well, sweet. All right. Now all of you guys have two Pokemon. Except for me. Well, you will, but... Yeah. Right now, I'm denying you... Okay, out of character, I'm denying you your Pokemon because you're going to be getting one and it's going to be higher level than everything else. I guess it's going to be level 10. Oh, right. You have that fossil. Yeah, because fossils are level 10, so you already have a captured Pokemon, quote-unquote. Fair enough. And I think I might just let you keep your Bulbasaur instead, because... Eh. If you would have switched it out at during the beginning part, which I was offering, because... If you would have switched it out then, I would have just let you got it back at the end of this. But it's like, eh. It's because everyone has grass type Pokemon or something very weak to fire. Right. And, uh. Well, I think you guys can guess what I actually had planned. That first trainer originally had, uh, Growlithe. Oh, no. 
<laughs> you guys would just all wiped. Yeah. I was like, well, dang it. <laughs> I'll just throw some weaker Pokemon on them then. Hallelujah. All right. So for you. You need to enter in your spinner rack. Mm-hmm. I so. You should have a sheet. Now, this is for a Pokemon I don't have written up. If you go out into the wild looking for a Pokemon, you're going to have to fill out the sheet yourself. I'm cool with that. Yeah. But I get to pick a few things. Mm -hmm. First, I pick its level. It will be level 5 for you. And I get to pick its stat allocation which will be as such it's pretty good stat allocation so yeah I also picked its nature And it's gender. And from there, you fill out the rest. Cool. Which you can find on your Pokedex to find the base stats, and then you just add them up across the board. Mm-hmm. Usually, if I try to give you something mid-session, I would, if it's like a planned Pokemon, you guys don't go searching for it, I will have the sheet already written up and able to just hand to you. Yeah. Akin to that hop-up, where I just handed it (laughs) over to Aaron. Mm -hmm. If you guys go searching for Pokemon, then it will be randomly generated on my end. I have a generator to generate Pokemon for random encounters. And you would have to fill out the thing. Or if you get special Pokemon like SMX are going to be getting, it will just show up in your sheet one day. So, that is pretty much all I had planned for the training session mm-hmm. all, right. all right if you want to do the full session right now we could but i think people need to go to work or something tomorrow you said yeah i'm just busy tomorrow yeah yeah i'm, I'm fine with ending it here yeah and then you guys continue on your road to whatever city viridian viridian city sure well that's the next town over yeah it's viridian city Mm-hmm. I keep forgetting the name of the city. I think I keep thinking it's like uh, Vermilion. 